Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have a very cool reading, Sagittarius. Yeah, we do. I hope you guys are well. If you would like a free five-minute psychic reading, you may get one. And uh, those are with Mystic Sense. And the link is below. And uh, yeah, and if you would like a reading with me, please see the About tab here on my page. And all the information is there. I have several readings. We have a psychic reading. Those are accurate. Yes, they are. <laughs> and we talk about them right after I give you the insight and then you can verify, right? It's just how uh, it's being done and it's working out. We also have video chat readings where, you know, we're one-on-one. -on -one. We are. And then we have a video reading, a video link, and that is uh, at the promotional price for $60. Um, mm -hmm. and that is a 30 minute video read. It's a tarot reading. Yeah. I would always recommend, uh, getting a reading, uh, with a psychic reading. That's what I would recommend. Uh, cause it's very cool. And you know, not everything in the psychic reading is not always in the, in fact, um, is not in the tarot reading or vice versa. Like they add to each other for sure. They do different insight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And the video chat readings are the most fun though. Yeah, they are fun. Cause you get, yeah. Especially if you're getting a, a psychic reading and then we do the tarot cards together. Those are <coughs> the most fun. Let's get into it Sagittarius. Cause <coughs> you know, we like to have fun over here. Yeah. We're troublemakers. We are, we're rebels, right? It's what happens when you're half horse and, and half woman, right? Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and we start the reading Sagittarius with rescued and the gift revealed. And these are from the fairies, right? These, uh, they're all kind of beautiful fairies. Yeah, they are. And you know, this rescued card, it talks about kind of rescue yourself. Don't depend on other people and what they say, right? Yesterday I was doing a reading and you know, somebody was telling me that, oh, their friends told them this and that I go, don't listen to your friends. This is your experience, right? You listen to yourself. You listen to your intuition. You listen to yourself. If you want to ask somebody something, you can maybe go ahead and ask, but it doesn't, you have to analyze it, right? You just don't go, okay, so-and-so did that, right? So this rescued card, it talks about rely on yourself, use your own intuition. Somebody was asking, you or your person was asking uh, the other person, or not the other person, was asking somebody, friends or something like that for advice, and you just rely on yourself, right? This is your journey, and you know, when you're lying there when you're older, if you're in pain, nobody's going to go, hey, uh, you, nobody's going to really, they can't feel your pain. So this is your, your life, your project. Here's the gift revealed. And you know, this is, uh, she's looking at this, I don't know, kind of, he's, you know, he's kind of a, I don't know what he is exactly, but he looks a little bit like kind of, he's kind of an ugly little, he's not a fairy. He's just this ugly little, he kind of looks like the Grinch, right? You know? the cartoon version. Yeah. And so, you know, here she is, but the gift revealed is it's kind of when you have uh, a, a disappointment in your life and you go, gee, this isn't what I signed up for, or this isn't what I wanted. I'm taking these off. I think they're scratched and I can, this isn't what I wanted. Uh, and so from there, uh, you just realize here that maybe you made the wrong choice or you got into the wrong situation. Uh, but you know, then you realize what the real gift is the gift revealed. I feel like somebody was listening to, uh, their friends or maybe their, you know, family or whatever, uh, with, they were asking for advice here because this gift revealed is kind of, it's uh, it can be an awakening, right? Somebody woke up and they go, Whoa, uh, like you realize that you, you're kind of in love with somebody else. That's how it looks in this reading. And we also have a uh, key nose. We pulled a rune today just for the fun, right? For, you know, break it up here. Not so monotonous. Uh, it looks like a back arrow. That's what it looks like here. As I'm showing it to you, it looks like a front arrow. Okay. But, uh, this is how it really looks, you know? And so this is key nose, and this is a torch. Somebody's carrying a torch for you or you're carrying a torch for them. Yeah. And don't light them on fire, Sagittarius, right? With all your passion. No, don't do that. And uh, let's get some more cards. We're going to be super, uh, mostly spontaneous here. Let's see what we have, Sagittarius. And we're going to go ahead and use these astrology cards today just because, uh, just because we're feeling it, right? Let's see what we got for Sagittarius, please. And for Sagittarius. 
and we have this card of the third quarter moon breakdown readjustment and forgiveness yeah interesting how the third quarter moon uh, this card was pulled the other day yeah i think maybe in your reading too but uh in another another deck right another uh in the moonology cards and so breakdown readjustment and forgiveness this is somebody's making like major changes for you, like readjustment, like let me move things around in my life or let me clear things away. I want to be with Sagittarius. I feel like that's what this reading is about. The breakdown, uh, definitely, maybe there is a real breakdown, right? Uh, you know, uh, clearly it's the opposite of a breakthrough, but you know, sometimes, you know, we have to, uh, Sometimes we have to hit rock bottom sometimes. Maybe uh, maybe your person did, maybe you did. Just hitting rock bottom about maybe sadness here because it does look like somebody was reaching out for help here with this rescued card. And then the gift revealed is like, it's kind of like an awakening, right? Where you see what the real gift is in your life. Maybe it's about your career for some, right? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, people change careers all the time. They, you know, they even go to college and study a certain, uh, what's the word, uh, just something, a, a certain major, and they think they're going to be this or that, or, and then they get out and they go, I don't want to do that, right? Because they've changed themselves and they are growing. And uh, a lot of people do that. That's why it's it's kind of hard to pressure young people possibly because especially, you know, women don't, uh, their minds are not entirely uh, developed until they are 25 years old. That's huge, right? I think the man is 23. I don't remember. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, I heard that from uh, a neuroscientist. Yes. All right. The third house is here and uh, mm -hmm, communication. The third house is the house of Gemini. And this is the card here, communication, transportation. Interesting how Gemini is about transportation. It's not really spoken about that much. Uh, Gemini's like kind of short term travel, uh, uh, short, yeah, instead of maybe a shorter distance. Sagittarians usually like longer. Uh, we like to go to, you know, different lands and things like that. Yeah, we want to go see uh, how other people live, right? And yeah, we do. We like that kind of stuff. In fact, Sagittarians can marry people from other countries. It's, it's very Sagittarian. Yeah. I know I've done it, right? Let's see who we have. Let's move this back a little bit. We have the third house, local community. Yeah, see how uh, Gemini is more about the local uh, kind of, and then, you know, Sagittarius is about the further, the further community. Let me turn this off, you guys. I beg your pardon. And I beg your pardon, you guys, uh, for that. Yeah, I didn't know that that was on. Okay. Oh, I beg your pardon. Sorry about that. I didn't know that the phone was on and I don't want to redo this video. No, I don't. <laughs> and so here's the Gemini card back to the reading communication, local, uh, community transportation. This person, uh, somebody's coming to talk to you here and they're going to ask you for forgiveness. We see it here, uh, with the third quarter moon and this forgiveness is like changing. This person's making changes because this is about readjustment uh, yeah, interesting here, right? Let's see what else we have. Let's use some of these cards today, Sagittarius, the Tree of Life Oracle. Yeah, there's a man who kind of, uh, he's a rabbi here. He's full of, uh, he's full of wisdom. Yes, he is. And he talks about astrology too. I don't, I'm not sure if he's an astrologer, but, uh, I don't have a lot of time to listen to him, but he's really good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I love to hear the different, uh, the different, you know, the wisdom, yeah, from other cultures, and yeah, Let's see what we have here, for Sagittarius, please, and we have uh, the witness, I'm going to show the cards in a minute, for Sagittarius, please, and we have the skeleton, it's reverse, let's get another card here, and we have the sluggard, okay, so, uh, mm -hmm. the witness talks about somebody who knows something is true. Sometimes it's hard to face it, or there could have been an awakening here with the witness. Like, oh, well, like you can't unsee it, right? A witness, once they have seen something, uh, you know, like, you know, violence or a robbery or something, they can't unsee it, right? No. Uh, mm hmm and so somebody's, it's like accepting the truth. That's the witness. And somebody's doing that here. The skeleton's reversed. 
I feel like somebody's no, your person or you is no longer protecting something here. And, uh, because of the gift revealed, which talks about, you know, uh, realizing that you're not either, you, you know, working in the right field. This is, this is not your real gift, right? Or you're in the wrong relationship basically. Right. And so in this reading, it's, you know, it could be both, but, or, or either, but, you know, definitely, uh, could be about love here for sure. Uh, because somebody's carrying a torch for you and, or you are, and then we have the skeletons reversed. This can also be, I've checked, I've looked at this down to the bone many times and I'm already, I know what I'm doing here. Somebody knows what they're doing. They totally, this person totally knows they're coming. They're coming with their torch. Uh, it is so bright Sagittarius or hot that it's, you know, it's kind of burning their ass here. I feel like it is the sluggards here with it. The sluggard, uh, it, the sluggard can mean a few things. It can talk about, uh, there could be a third person here, but the sluggard can always, uh, talk about somebody who, uh, who doesn't have a lot of energy to face something, right? They just don't. Uh, and so it could be that they were slow maybe to see this, but I'm not sure. I'm, you know, that card could talk about somebody else or it could, yeah, it could talk about somebody else who, who doesn't want to deal with this or they don't have the energy or the mojo to really face what's going on here. Yeah. There could be a breakup in this reading too. Let's just get a couple more cards for Sagittarius. Let's see what we got. And we have the edge. Yeah. The edge is a trip card. This is like a, a, a like a succession, right? When they remove, not remove where you step down, maybe you're the mayor and now the new mayor is succeeding you. That's what the edge is. Uh, somebody could be losing a relationship and gaining one as well. And you're on the gaining in this reading. I feel like you are, uh, you know, kind of the winner Sagittarius, but, uh, your person could be leaving somebody. They could, the edge also can be, I'm just, um, I'm right here. I'm ready to, I'm ready to jump off the cliff and take the leap of faith. Yeah. And so let's see, we'll get one more card for Sagittarius. Let's see what we got. And we're going to get right into the tarot. Uh, this is, uh, a reading in itself. I feel like it is. We also have Pandora's box. Yeah, it came out reversed. Uh, but you know, uh, this read this card here is somebody from the past to Pandora's box. Remember what she did. She, uh, if I remember the story, right, she was in the palace and I don't know who she was. She could have been the princess. I don't remember, but she opened uh, the, tr she opened the box and with, and when she opened the box, all the pestilence came out like the plagues and you know, all these bugs and insects and stuff like that. But she really wanted to know what was in it. You know, as a reverse card, this person here feels like you are a treasure and they want to reopen the past. I'm pretty sure what that's about. Uh, I'm pretty, that, that could definitely be, uh, what that is. I feel like this person's already decided with the skeleton reversed. Uh, yeah, because yeah. And so let's get into it right now. And let's see what we have. Let's get into the tarot portion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tarot, tarot, right? It's not really French. So I'm going to call it tarot. Yeah, it's not French. No. Let's see what we got. We're not down on French people. No, we're not. No. <laughs> In fact, uh, yeah, I have French blood too. So let's see what we have, you guys. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person's bringing you something. They could be bringing you a gift, Sagittarius. They really could. And let's go ahead and cut these cards. Yeah. Three of Swords and the pre-shuffle. There definitely could be, uh, there could have been heartbreak here for sure, right? Whenever we see forgiveness here and uh, mm -hmm, this person's ready to come, the edge. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. And this Pandora's box reverse, this can talk about leaving, uh, whatever they're, whatever they're dealing with can talk about leaving that in the past. Like this is over. Let's see what we have. The bottom of the deck is also the ace of pentacles here. Uh, and the three of swords was in the pre shuffle, right? I could just call it to you guys as a prediction. If you know, if I want to be real cute here, oh yeah, <laughs> but you know, let's see what we have you guys. 
Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, could be air signs here, could be an earth sign, could be a water sign, King of Cups reverse. This can talk about a third party right here. Could, I mean, with these people, but I feel like there's a divine couple here. I also feel like a decision definitely has been made when we see the Queen and the King of Swords. So in your environment, Sagittarius, you're wondering, here you are discerning, and, you know, it could get real deep, your discernment, right? But it's usually kind of questioning something, studying something, right? Yeah, and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you start here, your overall energy is a knight of swords. This may be your person's reading. In other words, you could be doing all this, but it could be them. So because this overall energy is taking action, crossing you is the queen of pentacles. And this could be happening to you, right? Yeah. And we have the four of swords uh, in the root, why it's all happening. So it looks like somebody's taking action here to heal the situation with you. And we see forgiveness here. We see readjustment. We see breakdown. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys remember that song by Tom Petty? Yeah, I used to like Tom Petty. Yeah. Breakdown. And he sings that song about Mary Jane. <laughs> yeah, he was very cool. Let's see what we have here. Who knows how these people really died, right? They always say, oh, they, you know, they died abruptly and they did this or they were doing drugs. Who knows? Anybody in, uh, especially in, uh, in the entertainment business. Yeah. Who knows? Cause they, they got, they want royalty rights. Yeah. Even if you wrote the song and yeah. So, you know, anyway, let's do this though, Sagittarius, and let's get a couple cards here. Uh, we're going to get some tree of life to, uh, and here's the queen of pentacles showing up here. Here's your first card, overall energy, uh, the knight of swords. And, uh, in the past is the seven of cups. So we see, uh, the king of swords here. We see the edge. We see the witness. Somebody's accepting a truth. So, uh, I feel like a choice has already been made in the past. Now, maybe there was com some confusion. If there is, was confusion here, it was a long time ago because the skeletons reversed. And this says, I have already checked down to the bone over and over again uh, when it's in the reverse. Yeah. So let's get a card here. And uh, we, we have the observer. Yeah, it's reversed. Oh, I've re I've re I have reversed these. Oh, that's fine. So we have the observer and the seven of cups. So this means that in the past, somebody was really trying to figure this out as the observer, right? Trying to take a look, stepping back away from their life to, you know, to definitely, uh, make a choice. Right. And I said this coming in, there's a decision that's been made with the King and the Queen of Swords, right? Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and what's on your mind is the Page of Swords. So let's get a card for the Page of Swords for Sagittarius. We have the head. So maybe, uh, this is a headache for you if this is your decision. Uh, but if you could be wondering if this person uh, is having headaches about this decision, there is a decision here for a major change in life because somebody's carrying a torch for somebody, right? I'm carrying a torch for you guys. Sagittarius, I am. I carry a torch for everybody. I'm a flirt. Just kidding. So we have the head here, but things you could be wondering if things are coming to a head. Yeah, it can be about a decision sometimes or things coming to a head. I feel like that's what you're wondering here. Yeah, I feel like that's what you are wondering if this person if things have come to a head for them and they have. Yeah. And this torch is leading them to you. The King of Swords shows up in the near future. We'll get a card for the King of Swords. And we have the test. And let's see, I flipped these cards all day long. Yeah, I flipped them again. So yeah, I, just, I don't know what the deal is, Sagittarius. The test uh, is, maybe it's supposed to be read both, right? Uh, this person's going to test the waters with you based on the decision they made. So this means I made a decision and the test is I'm going to go, I'm going to test it out. Let's see what Sagittarius has to say to me, right? Yeah, definitely. And so, yeah, the test exactly in your concerns, the three of cups. So you probably want to reconcile with them. You probably do not probably. And, uh, you may want to reconcile with them. And, you know, this could be saying your concern is, uh, 
joy and happiness, but it does look like a reconciliation. Let's see what we have in for the three of cups and we have the treasury. So this is your concern. Maybe it's, maybe your money is your concern right now. Uh, maybe you want to know if this person will give to this. Sometimes the treasury is like, you know, when you deposit kind of into your bank account, uh, yeah, it could be, um, the treasury, this, you could be thinking this person is a treasure, right? And this is your concern. So maybe you think that this person maybe will not, uh, reconnect with you or reconcile with you because of their bank account, possibly, uh, because the concern can be seen many ways here, right? It can be seen my general concern here is I want to return to Sagittarius and there can be many other concerns, right? So it's kind of a, it's just a little bit more info there, but still, you know, let's get one more card on your concern for Sagittarius, please. And we have the card of the well. Uh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, this is interesting. You could be uh, maybe concerned if this person, maybe if their bank account is being drained with the well reversed uh, and the treasury here, the well can be kind of like the well is dry. There could be another situation here that you're wondering here, uh, possibly if you're going to reunite, this could be also about like, you could be maybe thinking about this person and maybe their relationship, the well was dry, but they had money. That could be the case here. Queen of swords in your environment, Sagittarius with the covering and you are discerning here. Am I going to have a new beginning? Yeah. Yeah. It's not about your covers on the bed. No, it's not the covering. It's a new beginning, uh, that really kind of takes over, right? Everything like everything else is sidelined now because of a new beginning or not as important, right? Your hopes is the eight of wands. Here you are hoping for change. You are Sagittarius. Let's get a card change, growth, progress, movement, maybe communication, but I don't read that as communication. Like other readers do. Those are wands. They're not, uh, they're not swords. Yeah. They're not cups, words of love. Possibly they're, they're, they're wands, but Hey, whatever. And so the veils reversed here, And, you know, uh, here with the wands are all the, <coughs> the butterflies, the veils reverse. You're hoping for change. And with the veil reversed, you want this person to like lift the veil. Yeah. That's what you want. You're hoping they're going to lift the veil and everything's going to come into view and like reachable. This is going to happen and everything will be clear. Things like that. Lift the veil too. Could be like, it could be like, uh, show me the truth or leave the darkness behind. Sometimes lift the veil, stop, you know, whatever you have in the background here that has been part of this veil, this, this maybe secret or whatever, uh, maybe of something of darkness, lift it. Let's, 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 let's live in the light. Now let's be together. Something like that. And in your outcome is the King of cups reversed. And so that's the only reversal here. And maybe there's a, a, a King of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio here. It could be, you know, almost anybody could concern in the outcome. Uh, there's concern here, maybe for a water sign. Maybe this person is sad. Maybe this is not your concern. It could be your person's concern. It just depends, but it does look like there is real concern. Uh, and it could be concern. It doesn't have to be for a water sign. It could be concerned that somebody doesn't love somebody with the King of Cups reversed, like, I don't know if Sagittarius loves me. It could be, let's look at their cards. And as usual, I pull three cards for that person. Uh, yeah. And, uh, their first card was the moon dragon. This talks about somebody who is like, has ups and downs, just kind of like the, you know, the moon is a 28 day cycle. Right. And so we can be moody with the moon, right? Because the, the energy changes every two and a half day, the moon goes into a new sign. Uh, which is really interesting, right? So, uh, this talks about ups and downs, like sadness, happiness, and you know, just yeah, uh, emotional roller coaster. Crossing your person is the is a loss, and this is an event because it is. You can see it at the top of the card. They have lost something. Healing chaos. Here's a tornado, and with the tornado are butterflies all around. So something your person is healing from chaos, but it's really to have a new beginning. I think it's with you. We're going to end the reading and go to the extended. They're all super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me here. The link is below in the description box and we have a tarot spread on them as well. Um, you know, as well as the Oracle spread. Thank you so much you guys for joining me here.